Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Raina Mo's Designs. And right now, I would like to take the opportunity to tell you about the New Air AB 1200X 126 can mini refrigerator. This particular refrigerator has been a wonderful asset to the house. Everyone loves this mini refrigerator. It holds 126 cans of your favorite beverage, but as you can see, we use it for wine, we use it for two liter sodas, as well as 16 ounce water bottles and juices and beverage cans of soda. So I just wanted to let you guys know that this particular video is not sponsored. It's just a video that I wanted to share with you this particular refrigerator because it really has come in handy. As you can see, baby girl and Polly Bear really loves it. Um, we've placed it in our movie room and it has just been a godsend. It keeps us from having to go downstairs in between movies. So I just wanted to share this particular item with you and to let you know that New Air has given us a discount code for this particular mini fridge by using the word RENA, R-E-I-N-A. And you'll get 20% off of your AB1200X mini fridge, which has a reversible door that you can open to left or to right. Just to let you know, when you receive your New Air AB12000X mini fridge, you're going to have to put your handle on it and it's very easy and the instructions are very thorough. And I guarantee for anyone who purchases this, you will absolutely love it. So now, let's get into our tutorial. Good evening everyone and welcome to Raina Mo's Designs. And today we're going to be dressing a candle in a beautiful floral design. So if this sounds like something that's interesting to you, please keep on watching. Okay, so today I'm gonna be using these candles that you can find locally at your dollar stores. I got this at Dollar Tree. And then I'm also gonna be utilizing a bag of petals, rose petals, that you can also get at your local dollar store. And I picked these up from King Dollar. So basically, since my mom's having her golden wedding anniversary, I figured I wanted to utilize the yellow candles, you know, to represent the gold. But then I was thinking if I put gold flower petals on top of this yellow candle, that's just not going to be cute. So for a pop of color, since her colors are going to be the same colors that were utilized in my wedding, I'm gonna go ahead and use the burgundy because I feel like the burgundy with this shade of yellow is actually gonna be really, really cute. So basically all you do is you prep your candle, make sure you take whatever stickers they have on it off. And we're gonna start using the flower petals. And I'm just gonna grab a handful and set the others to the side. And we're gonna use our faithful hot glue gun. Now, I said faithful hot glue gun because it is relatively new, but I've used it for quite a while and it gets very hot and it works very efficiently. A little too efficiently, as you can see. I burned myself the other day just reaching over to grab my drink. So always remember when you're working with tools and crafts that there are hazards. If you're working with a hot tool, make sure that when you're done using it that you put it away. Don't plug in another hot tool leaving your hot glue gun on and think that you can reach around things and it not burn you because it's a good chance you'll get burned. So anyway, that's enough of that. So what you do is you pick up your petal and you decide which side is the actual petal and which would be the portion that actually goes into the, the uh, bulb of the rose where the stamen is. And for me, that's this portion. So what I'm gonna do is add a dollop of hot glue and I'm gonna affix it to my candle. And I'm just gonna do that over and over again. So I am gonna stop talking and let you guys watch so you can see exactly what I'm doing. All right, my bling queens and kings. 
As you can see, I'm just taking my hot glue gun and I'm affixing a little dollop to the base end of the petal where it has that point and then affixing it to the candle. And I'm just following it along in a straight line all the way across and around the vessel. Then once I complete that first row, I'll move down to the second row. And what I want you to notice when I move to the second row is that instead of placing the next row of petals from point to point, I'm actually gonna place it to where it's in between the two points where it makes this V shape so that the petals are overlapping just like a petal just like a petal would on a rosebud, if you've ever pulled apart a rosebud. So that's the same type of pattern in which I'm going for. Now it's totally up to you how many rows of petals you would like to add to your candle. It's totally up to you where you start to put your rose petals on your candle because you can start at the top and work your way all the way down. Or you can start towards the bottom and work your way up. Where you start deems where you start, where your imagination tells you to start, where your ideas and inspirations tell you to end. This particular tutorial is extremely easy and you can make different variations on it, just whatever your heart's desire. So I'm gonna be quiet and let you continue watching and then we'll take you to the next step. And so now it's time for my absolute favorite part and that is decorating. So what you see here is I have two strands of pearls that I picked up on Harwin and I'm just gonna use that to affix to the base of where the rose petals are to just give it a smooth and cohesive look. I found the best touch was to actually add two rolls of the double Pearls. So that's what I'm gonna do. Then I'm gonna clean up any of the glue fronds that I have and strings. And then I hope you guys are ready for the final reveal because they are gorgeous. Are you ready? Here we go. Look how pretty both of these candles came out. Here's the one that you watched me create right before your eyes. And doesn't that look like a beautiful blossoming red rose just ripe for the picking? I just absolutely love it. And the one with the bright gold leaves, which I thought might look a little cheesy, actually turned out to be gorgeous. And if you look at the base of that, you can see that I use the bling from my Reina Mo bling bag. So those bags come in handy. Definitely they do. I hope you guys enjoyed this particular quick and easy tutorial. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Don't forget about the New Air AB12000X mini fridge and the discount code Reina. 
But most importantly, have an absolutely wonderful evening. Bye.